Alright guys, what's going on? We got some cool things from uh, Diamond Select, you know. So if you guys don't know, I'm like super into Kingdom Hearts. I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. Recently the DLC came out and I am like, so because of that, I went ahead and started playing Kingdom Hearts 3 all over again. And I am still enjoying it. Uh, so we thought that this would be the perfect time to start reviewing some uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, figures. You see, we got a lot. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot behind me. Uh, and a big, uh, a big distributor for the uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, action figures is Diamond Select Toys. And today we are going to be looking at uh, Black Coat Mickey in the. This is their vinyl mate. So Vital Mate, uh, you know, your probably first reaction to this is, hey, <laughs> it looks like that very popular brick company that I've been playing with ever since I was a kid. Over here, this is um, this is Mickey, and he is within the Organization 13 uh, coat. This is actually one of my favorite outfits that M Mickey wears in Kingdom Hearts. This happens at the end of Chain of Memories, and uh, it also happens also in. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, we see him in here. Him and Riku, they disguise themselves as Organization uh, 13 because these coats uh, make it that the nobodies uh, don't realize that they actually have hearts. Uh, that's how po that's how magic uh, these black coats are. And, you know, and of course they have to have zippers on them. Uh, what's well, something I always liked about uh, Mickey's uh, jacket because like it, it's a hood, and for some reason Mickey was able to find. The Organization 13 hood that also has his uh, Mickey ears on it. Uh, so, alright. This is the packaging. The packaging looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, so over here we have the window of uh, Mickey. We get to see Min Mickey with his uh, keyblade. And his keyblade basically looks like Sora's except like you know, the colors are inverse. Uh, and then over here on the side we have a good picture of Mickey. There's even a window on top just in case you want to see on the top of his head if you did plan to open this. And... In the back here, uh, we see that uh, what the other things are going to be available. We see that uh, we're going to have a tr Sora from the Tron level from Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, of course, the, the one we're talking about, Mickey in the Black Coat. And also Pete. So that's pretty much the packaging here. Now, let's go ahead and open this sucker. So one thing that the package, like, uh, you know, like they advertise for is that the head is poseable. <laughs> so look, see? Look at that. You can turn the head. Uh, yeah. He, he can even go uh, up and down just a little bit. Uh, and then you see here it's his arms are uh, kind of a little stiff here. Hold on here. Oh, gosh. Well, it didn't say posable arms. Uh, let's see here. Maybe it's only that posable. Uh, I'm having a hard time. I'm having... All right. Uh, you know what? I think the only thing that's posable is the head. Uh, uh, I, can, I, I can't even... I can't even take out the keyblade, so... Uh, so yeah, and like the the chain is uh, molded. So yeah, so uh, it said posable head. It didn't say anything else was posable. So definitely, I mean, if the arms are posable, like oh, uh, uh, if the arms are posable, then obviously I'm not pushing enough. I don't want to push it any harder. Because all right, so he's going to be really easy to stand because you can't move the feet at all. See, right, like you can't move the feet at all. So pretty easy uh, to stand over here. So there you go. Stand right next to Donald. <laughs> if you guys uh, can't tell, um, oh, over here, th this figure right here, this is actually the first uh, play arts uh, figure of the organization uh, 13 Mickey. I, like, when they made this, I had to get it. Uh, but, you know. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, so, uh, design wise, looks really good. Uh, I really like that, like, Mickey, he has that. Like, uh, he's in that serious face mode, and, like, his pose is actually really cool. I really like his pose. Uh, the chain off the Keyblade is, like, you know, it's kind of, like, almost like it's, like, you know, like, he just kind of, like, uh, did a, uh, motion right there. So, I, I like that. It's not just dangling. It's actually, like, kind of action, uh, right there. Mickey is ready to, uh, fight. Uh, my only... My only uh, gripes with this is that the fact that the only thing that's possible is the head. Um, I do wish, I do wish the arms were possible, and I wish uh, you could take out the keyblade. Um, but uh, oh, it does make a really cool uh, stance, and for you to display out there. Uh, so uh, basically, 
Basically, I would recommend, uh, like, you know, this is mainly for collectors. Most of the things from Diamond Select are going to be for collectors. They're not really meant for children. But this one, kids are not going to have a fun time with this one only because there's not, there's not too much that can be had uh, doing this because the fact that the arms are not uh, posable. But for collectors, this is actually a really cool piece. Uh, I really like it. Um, you know, it has that blocky uh, Vinyl Mates... Um, uh, look to it, but it does like it does still like you know keep uh, the integrity of the character there. Uh, I really like this. All right, let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about the Vinyl Mates uh, Black Coat Mickey figure. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Kingdom Hearts in general, and uh, and join us next time. We will be um, we will be uh, opening and reviewing more uh, figures from Diamond Select Toys. I cannot wait. All right, till next time, guys. See ya. Uh, so if you go into like any comic book shops or even Walmart and Target in their video game sections, mainly because Toys R Us um, is gone, so Walmart and Target both now have uh, collector sections now in GameStop. They also have some of these Diamond Select figures uh, out there, and uh, they are really incredible.